a new series of games I might include for my Let's Plays, Games for MS-DOS. In this case, some of these games will be from basically some type of catalog referred to as On Disc Monthly, or prior to that, referred to as Big Blue Disc. I'll be playing the games from it. This one will be, to start off my MS-DOS-based Let's Play series, Catacomb. Yeah, show us the title twice, apparently. But then again, it does show us the title twice only because it shows us once at the big blue disk menu, but if we type in the ms-dos command, in this case it's catacomb, we get to see the title yet again. That's why we see it twice here for some reason. Don't know why they bothered to show it in the menu itself. I'm guessing if the game glitched or something. Now, this is going to be a pretty basic game, I'd say. It doesn't really include music, but... Yeah. Those are some old scores. I'm pretty sure that Holy Cow 818181 has also played some of these games. Don't know if he did the best at them, but... Eh, maybe he did. Anyway, let's begin. First, let's look at the commands. So, hit fire at the demo to begin playing. There should be a command somewhere. Ah. I'm guessing the commands, they're on the right right there. This is a keyboard-based game. K, P, B, and N. I'm not sure what the K is about, but... Anyway... Yeah. The button 1, button 2... gotta remember what the key is for regular shots. Anyway, to start out, let's begin. Such cheesy sounds. Okay. In my case, the control I'm actually using is just that, the control key. That's what I use to fire. Oh. Now, I guess I could introduce you to the enemies. The small red ones and the white ones, they die in one hit. But they react differently, so you gotta be careful of them. The white ones are on the hunt for you. The red ones, I guess they really don't care. You only get one life in this game, so you gotta be careful. And I just took a little bit of damage. Now, there is a secret somewhere here. Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Ah, of course. It's right here. Charger shots, and you can break through walls. And also beware of these. The P button... Whoa! See, that's how the white guys can ambush you here. They're such a pain. Hmm. I could open that if I wanted, but that's the equivalent of a warp zone for anyone who's played Super Mario Bros. 1. Which is probably almost everyone. Try to get as many keys as you can. The red guy is trouble, but... Anyway, a big shot should be almost enough to get rid of it. Maybe a shot's necessary after that. You can destroy, destroy so many of these walls. Get so many points if you want. And the top score, 81,150. It's pretty close to the score limit. So you can press the space bar, and you fully restore your HP, but it costs you whatever whatever's in the P. Anyway, I guess we're entering the catacombs now. As it says here, the catacombs. We gotta get a key somewhere from there. Yes. Good thing the white guys at least die in one hit. But that doesn't make them any less trouble. Sounds will get annoying, but... It's just PC nostalgia for people from, let's say, 1993. Takes many shot, takes many regular shots if you want to kill a big one. I'm not gonna try and go for the optimal score, I'm just gonna try and beat the game. And kill all enemies. I'm not gonna go for the se the secrets. I might go for the treasure chests, and I might go for some other stuff. But I won't go for the hidden ones, as that 
Yes. As getting the getting the treasures and whatever, it's not necessary to beat the game. Now this is gonna be tricky. Once I open the lock, it's gonna go after me. Grave robbers beware. By the way, with the big shots, yes. Hmm. Okay, somewhere here. Right here. With the big shots, you can shoot through multiple enemies, as the as the shot will not dissipate unless it hits a really strong enemy, like the big red ones that you saw before. Such as the soul one that was in in a level prior. Okay, I got a key again. Yep, PC nostalgia. This would probably be a little bit less annoying if it was on an actual if it was on an actual MS DOS. Now this is a real game, but unfortunately it's nearly impossible to do a let's play. Do a let's play using MS DOS because it would be full screen and a whole bunch of other trouble. Yeah. Now there are ten levels to this game, so you gotta be careful. But at least since when you know there are ten levels. It should feel short just after that. Now... Whoa! Okay, that's where it was. The red and white ones do a lot of damage. Or, n not a lot of damage, I mean. But... But they are trouble. Let's recover. Sometimes the white ones will shoot from above. Or, will come at you from above. Now, there are no enemies that shoot in this game until you get to level 7. 7 out of 10. It it also takes a lot of hits, by the way. Uh, a single... Yeah, a single shot will not get rid of it alone, nor will a single huge shot. Just trust that the white guys... That the white... Zombies, whatever they are... Hmm... By the way, this is just a taunt. It appears to be impossible to grab. Why did I do that? I'm trying a little bit too hard at this. Now, at least those ones can't fit through. So, with this, though... Hmm. I'm not sure how I how I could fit in through this. Hmm, maybe I don't? What if there's something from the other side? Is there something from the other side? Because that's all that I can really think of. Or maybe you just gotta wait until you just gotta wait until they get close to you so that you can fire at them. Like this white one. Since it's a white one, it's probably gonna go after you. Alternates between left and right. The shots alternate between left and right, by the way, so... Can get a little bit annoying. See? There is a key here. Now, because of the big enemies, the big red ones, you might wanna... Hold the control button so that your shot's all powered up. Huh. Got through all those in just one, apparently. Yeah. Levels obviously get gradually longer because this is a game, I guess. But there's more to it than that. By the way, I don't think that one can actually fit through there, so... I'm safe from here. Unless I was to open that all the way when there were enemies in there. Otherwise, I'd probably be toast. Hmm. Remember, ten levels to this game. That's all you need to beat it. By the way... This, the background there almost looks like some kind of... Well... <clears throat> bathroom tile, I suppose. Again, with the PC nostalgia. So nostalgic, so redundant for me to say that. Hmm. Now, how would I get in here? Of course. Using these shots. 
How did I not grab those other ones just there? There's gonna be a key somewhere. Just don't know where it could be. It seems to be hidden. It's mandatory for me to find one because of this. It's not there. And those shots, yeah, they make a funny sound. Yeah. This game's somewhat about secrets, I guess. Eh, what the heck. Let's just shoot the whole way there. There we go. By the way, these shots actually do have a finite range. So, yeah. Kind of trouble. Yes. Don't be dumb enough to just get those. Hmm. Nope. It's not there. Something here. Whoa. Okay. And here, too. Let me test it. Looks like... Looks like you can have an infinite supply, even though it doesn't look like it. So, be careful with that. <laughs> it's kind of an odd sound that those big one, the bigger enemies make whenever, yeah, whenever, whenever they get hurt. Yeah. But then again, all PC speaker sounds are kind of weird, aren't they? Anyway, I got the key, so <clears throat> through this catacomb, I got to make my way back now, and that can be tedious. The mirror, as I'm going to call it, the way out, is all the way over there. Let's just open the lock in a second. Get a little bit extra eventually. Eventually, by killing these enemies, I can kill them somehow, some way. I think that pa power is also reachable. Power. It's just points, I think. Actually, no. My mistake. That wasn't the treasure. That was bolts and newts nukes that I was picking up. Newts. I'm guessing I have to go down here if I want that. Yeah. Could that big enemy even fit through the vertical space? I don't think so. You know, how would I get this? There's a seek there's going to be a secret somewhere here, I can just assume. <laughs> Remember, old PC players did have to endure annoying sound like this. There was no advanced use of Sound Blaster at the time. Now they call this the end, but it's not over yet. This video maybe, though. <laughs>